We're continuing a tour of downtown Messina as I showed a few days ago. I stopped here at the old Messina School Business Building. And we're going to continue going down the street and in the general area here. So we're stopping now at vacant place number 15. Augie's Speedway Inn and NASCAR. Uh, this bar is closed, obviously. And the man who owned it passed away last year. Um, and as we go down the street, Klopman's Furniture was right here. And it's now used for storage. There's no business in this place, so we'll consider it number 16 vacant of uh, the places downtown. They are not in use or in use. And we're going to look across the street now. It's going on uh, almost 10 years since the buildings across the street burned in a huge downtown fire. And the building there was gone, that building, and that building gone, all vacant. For almost a decade, those buildings have been gone, and nothing has been built on that location. So I'm going to count this as 17, 18, 19 places vacant because there were three buildings there. Next door is Paul Post Realty. They're still in business. And we're going to go down the street more here on a current tour of downtown Messina. Hopefully I won't get the numbers mixed up. And... Uh, Next to the old former Klopman's Furniture is the um, A&J Embroidery Service building. It was the World of Color a few years ago, and they're doing pretty good. And next door is the Carriage House Bridal Shop. At one time was... Uh, Ken's Men's Shop. And we're going to the next vacant place. Another vacant spot. The old Friar Tuck's Bar. It's vacant. This is all not being currently used right now. Empty. And right next door, I think about three years ago, this was gutted. Maybe two years ago. It was, um, before a shop for um, divers who uh, dive into the water and they completely gutted the inside but since then this plywood has stayed like this. So who knows what will be placed there next. And we're going across the street. The old Slavin's property. This property is supposed to be turned into apartment houses or apartments upstairs in a business downstairs. And it's been uh, vacant for some time and empty. And a much different town, too. Messinans of even 50 years ago would be amazed at the difference. Today, Messina has a shopping center complete with all the conveniences of modern living. There are well-stocked department stores, drug stores, restaurants, theaters, banks and business places, filling stations and garages. Everything, in fact, that people need for easy, comfortable living. Now let's uh, cross the street. The Slavin's building is number 22 on vacant properties in downtown Messina not being used or vacant storefronts not being rented out. Go well, and view, this is a look, view um, of that side of downtown. Vacant, 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 vacant. So we're at 22 and hopefully I got it correct. And we're going to go on here. I've been told 
that I show too much negative. I don't show enough positive. And I've said this numerous times that you have to show things. You have to show reality because you cannot hide reality. You have to show what can be fixed in order to make things positive for the future. I'm not putting down the town. I'm not putting down, down, down downtown Messina. But you have to show it in order to fix it, a problem. So we're going on. Here was the um, storehouse for Slavin's Furniture. It's all a vacant lot now. Nothing's been uh, built here or constructed. And uh, there's an Italian grill right here. Now it used to be the old uh, bar, Mitica's bar. And we got a parking lot right there. Where there's three storage, uh, big, huge uh, storage uh, trucks. Okay, our next vacant property here in downtown Messina. This wasn't vacant the last time I did a video. It was a bank. It was bought out by another bank, and now it sits for sale. This is a beautiful building, folks. Beautiful. Beautiful building. Just look at it. Nice architecture work. It's for sale. It was a bank, but it's sitting vacant. We're going to count this as number 23 here in downtown Messina in the general area of Main Street. And as I walk along, I'm going to walk up uh, this way, right off Main Street, to show you uh, more. We're passing the, the grill. There's North Country Savings Bank here in the back parking lot. And we have this vacant spot. This has been, this garage, this old garage has been vacant for some time. The Slavens once owns it, owned it, but it's just sitting and sitting and sitting. It's vacant, this whole corner right here. And uh, as you can see, it's just sitting. And we look across the street, here on Glen Street, right off Main Street, the old IBAW Local 2032 building. It's completely vacant right now. It's for sale, I believe, but it just sits. And across from here is an old mill building that was remodeled, or they did some remodeling. They put a porch on, and uh, they did some work inside. It's for sale right now, but there's no business in it at this moment. We're now going across the street. We made a loop. We're on West Orva Street in the downtown vicinity, and we're at the old Village Pub now. This has been vacant for some time. It, it sits here like some of the buildings and just sits. And we go around the old uh, car garage. This property is all for sale. So we got the village pub right here. We got this building and that one where W.L. Smith Hardware once was. So I encourage anybody out there to invest in downtown Messina. If the landowners in the village and other people cooperate together or people invest in downtown Messina, it could become a great downtown again. I recently was in Lake Placid and their downtown is thriving. I mean it's thriving. And I went to another uh, downtown here in upstate. It was thriving. So 
this place, downtown Messina, can be brought back to life again with the right motivation, the right people, the right skills, the right minds, the right creativity. They have to be very creative in the bringing downtown back to the way it was because it can be done if other communities out there can do it. Messina can bring downtown back to life again.